We know people blog about food, they blog about their lives and their business, and sometimes yours. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A lot of people blogging. One group that is taking blogging to a whole new level it is a group of moms. They are banding together. They are sharing their stories and their tips. Joining us this morning is Maureen Fitzgerald. Maureen, thanks for being with Welcome. us. Thanks for morning. having me. So you started WisconsinMommy.com. Yes. I did. How did you start it and what made you think, let's do this? Well, when I was working in education and when my son was born, I decided to stay home with him. And like most new moms, I panicked about every single little thing. And I spent a lot <laughs> of time. supposed to. That goes with the job yep. description. And so I spent a lot of time on Google, um, Googling all kinds of weird things. And these mommy blogs kept popping up with parents sharing them, themselves panicking about the same things. Mm -hmm. And I started reading them and then kind of started my own in as an attempt to kind of co converse back and forth with these moms and it kind of took off from there. You know we say blog but isn't it so much more because yours is kind of a website you know, a yes. lot of people say, well, blogging right now is kind of passe. You know, Facebook, the Twitter, everybody's doing <laughs> it really is fast. It, is it really passe? No, it's not. It's evolving. Just like any other form of social media, um, it's now incorporating different, um, incorporating Whirl and Twitter and sticky bits and all kinds of new things that come out almost daily. Sticky bits. S sticky bits. I, <laughs> know. I know. I was going to say, what is that? Sticky bits.com. It's a cool application where you can actually scan the barcode on different items and then attach either a blog post or a video to to it and as other people scan it they get to see your content. You want to just stay, stick around with us for the day? <laughs> you can I'd teach Cassandra to. and I a whole bunch of stuff. I'm no, I know what you're this. talking about, though, that yes. it has a little codes. I think we have to have the smartphones and a lot yes. of those other things yes. to use that. We don't there have There are a lot of tools. <laughs> yeah. What are some of the topics that you think are hot topics for Wisconsin mommies? Um, definitely things around the community to do, especially mm -hmm. as winter comes and we're kind of limited with what we can do outside. Um, there's a big pull for what can we do inside with our kids. Um, they get a little stir crazy, as do we. So yeah. I get a lot of hits on you know different shows. We have a lot of giveaways on the website for different shows, um, different areas that children can go to play inside and burn off that energy, mm -hmm. um, as well as just the the topics that hit all parents. Um, bullying is absolutely huge. Yeah. Um, anything education related always pulls a lot as well. And are these other mothers uh, just sharing their experiences? Do you have experts contribute to some, these blogs? Absolutely. Some have backgrounds um, in different areas that make them an expert. Some have guest posts. Some are just um, moms that are kind of talking about their day-to-day -day life because we can all feel kind of alone when we're home. And it's right. a great way to reach out and, and talk to other moms and understand that you're, you're not the only one going through it. Having some adult talk. Yes. Even though you're still in the house. <laughs> Grown up talk. And you didn't have to pack all the kids and put yeah. them in the van to go see each other at McDonald's. Exactly. You know, those are things. Now, you're making money at this. Yes, I am. A lot of people will be like, okay, how do you do that? Because I can write all I want about my kid and <laughs> put you? pictures. Yeah, right. But how yes. did you actually right. get that going? It actually started kind of by accident. When I started building an audience, people started approaching me, asking me to review products, asking me to purchase advertising space. Once I realized that that was a possibility, I sat down and made a plan and Smart. created a business plan um, and I actually just finished a book that um, is, is kind of a guide for other moms who are interested in doing the same thing and there's a link to that on my website. Rock on. See, I, I, love I know, don't you love it? I want to do how life and jobs happen mm -hmm. but it did I mean but you applied yourself you you realized well, I got an to opportunity. the point where I yeah. was either going to have to come up with something or go back to work full-time <laughs> and I love being home um, I do still work in education part-time but it's not enough to, See, um, I always to say, do make a job. Yep. Now, let me ask you this. How do mothers find you? Because, I mean, are they Googling to find you? Most of the you people or, that or land how? on my site either have found me through Twitter, okay. through Facebook, or through a Google search. So, so other people are talking. all that. Yeah, absolutely. You, all you really have to. And, of course, we'll have it on realmilwaukeenow.com. Yes. Yeah. Because we're all hooked up. <laughs> Maureen, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Good job. All right, we'll Thanks. be right back.